In this video, I'm going to talk about microsites. First, I'll give you a description of a BoingNet microsite. And then, I'll give you an introduction to microsites and how they can be used in your marketing campaigns. And finally, I'll demonstrate how to create a microsite in BoingNet. A microsite in BoingNet is a campaign-specific mini-website that acts as a hub for the campaign. By definition, our microsites tie all of a campaign's landing pages together and assign them to the campaign's URL or pearls. At first glance, microsites seem to be traffic cops, directing users to the right landing page at the right time in the proper sequence. But at second glance, you'll notice that microsites are actually campaign control centers, offering SEO-friendly URL management, campaign performance tracking, and detailed analytics. Plus, a BoingNet microsite takes just minutes to build and can be updated on the fly as real data shows what's working. When should you create a microsite? Well, microsites are ideal for promoting campaigns such as lead generation campaigns, pay-per-click, SEO, content marketing, social media, and offline media. Because modern microsite platforms are template-driven and easily modified, they can be built once and repurposed across a variety of lead generation channels. Email marketing campaigns. Today's integrated marketing automation systems enable microsites to be easily integrated into email campaigns. Using personalization tools such as pearls and variable content, microsites can offer email targets personalized, rich environments to explore products, offers, and other relevant content. For direct mail campaigns, by integrating Pearl microsites into direct mail campaigns, marketers are able to offer direct mail targets a way to research and respond online while bypassing the distractions and competitive offers associated with using search engines. Microsites are built from page templates that are created and managed in your BoingNet template library. Once you've created your campaign's landing pages, you're ready to build your campaign's microsite. To begin, go to the main navigation bar and click on Build, and then select Microsites, and then click Create New Microsite. In the first box, enter a name for your microsite. I'll call this Demo Microsite. This name is just for internal purposes. It won't be visible to your viewers. Then select a default page. The default page tells the system which page to load first when your user visits their Perl or URL. I'm going to leave this set at 1 because I want the system to load my home page when my users visit their Perls. All BoyNet microsites need to contain at least one page. Once you've added your first page, you can add as many additional pages as you'd like. This microsite is going to be for Watson's Handmade Chocolates. So I'd like it to contain a home page, a products page, and a thank you page. To add the first page, I'll click on Add New Page. Underneath Page Number, I'll enter a 1. This will be the default page for my microsite. In the box under Friendly URL Name, enter a page name. This page name will display in the user's browser when they're on this page. Often, marketers will use keywords or phrases in the URL of a microsite or other URL-friendly words that are easy to read or type into a browser. I'm going to call this page Home. Next, select a template name. Templates are selected from your template library. You can easily swap out templates at any time, making it easy to set up simple A-B testing. You can also use the same template in multiple microsites. Often, BoingNet users will create a standard thank you page that is used across multiple microsites. I'm going to select the Watson's Home template. Each time you add a page to your microsite, you have the option to define metadata for that page, such as title tags, site names, meta descriptions, and custom meta tags. Metadata tells browsers, search engines, social networks, crawlers, robots, and other software systems, such as Google AdWords, how to interpret the page. Let's start with the title tag. The title tag of a web page is meant to be an accurate, concise description of the page's content. This element is critical to both user experience and search engine optimization. It describes the page to search engines, and it's what displays at the top of the browser when the user is on the page. Creating a compelling title tag will pull in more visits from the search results. To optimize your page title, consider the following. For your page title length, consider aiming for 50 to 60 characters. 
I'll make my page title Watson's Candy Handmade Chocolates and Truffles. The format of your page title should include at least one primary keyword. In my example, the keywords are chocolates and truffles. Next is the site name. The site name will create a tag for Facebook Open Graph to help with social sharing. If you'd like to enter a site name, consider making it a length of about 30 to 35 characters. I'll call mine Watson's Candy Gourmet Chocolates. Third is the meta description. The meta description provides a concise explanation of the contents of a web page. Meta descriptions are commonly used on search engine results pages to display preview snippets for a given page. While not important to search engine rankings, meta descriptions are important in gaining user click-throughs from search engine results pages, and they can be very useful, especially for lead generation landing pages. If you'd like to enter a meta description, consider making it a length of about 140 characters. Notice there's a character count that displays underneath the box. The meta description I've entered is 132 characters, and it just summarizes the information on my home page. And finally, the custom meta tag. This enables you to enter additional meta tags that you might want to embed in the page, including tracking codes for things like Google Analytics, or the no index, no follow tags to keep search engines from searching your Perl pages. You can enter multiple tags per page or no tags at all. Take a look at some of our examples in the microsite help article. When you're done entering your metadata, click the Save button to save the page. The Embed button underneath Action is another interesting feature that allows you to embed a BoyNet form onto any web page, a page on your main website, for example. To learn more about how to do that, take a look at the help article and video in our knowledge base called Embed a Form into a Web Page. To add the next page to a microsite, just repeat the process. Click Add New Page, enter the page number, in this case 2, a page name, I'll type Products, select a template from your list, enter any metadata that you'd like to enter, and click Save. Repeat the process as many times as you'd like to add all of your landing pages to your microsite. I'll just add my thank you page as my last page. And that's how you create a microsite and define metadata for your pages in BoingNet. Our lightweight platform makes it fast and easy to create a microsite. Our microsites are the power behind your BoingNet marketing campaigns as they enable your marketing team to effectively engage and follow up with leads Head over to our marketing blog to read about how microsites work together with pearls to deliver relevant, personalized content to leads. To get started with BoingNet, sign up for our free 60-day trial. For more information, give us a call at 1-800-264-6420. Sign up for a weekly webinar or schedule a BoingNet demo or send us an email. We'd love to hear from you.